Okay, so I got this box right here that I will be putting, you know, some little orders that I get, you know, with my resin pieces here. I have this whole um, thing filled up. It's on my sketch pad because I need to learn how to create space. But I have this container with, you know, felt that I will be putting at the bottom of the box. Um, I have all these different colored papers. This one. I love these papers because, I don't know, I just do. These ones. Cardstock. Always need cardstock. And then construction paper. But I'm going to be using these papers and the felt to um, organize the box. So here we go. First things first, I'm going to put use this colored paper and um, paste it onto here. So you're going to want to do some measurements. Exacto knife. My stuff ain't straight. It's never gonna be straight. But this is it. So there's that. Um, yeah. You can choose any color that you want. I think I got these at Walmart for like one something. Or AC more. A pack. Whatever. I'm gonna use purple. So before you even go on with the rest, to get these, you gotta have um whatever leftover cardboard boxes or whatever. You organize it however you want. This is just me being me. Um, and then, yeah. So, I kind of wanted to do, like, different colors for each um, thing. But, I'm just not going to do that. Um, so, first things first. You know, you lay it over. See what the measurements are might be you got a guesstimate because you know I didn't measure beforehand because I like being complicated that is my life So you have your thing already, you know, lined and ready to be cut, whatever. You can use scissors. I think scissors are probably preferable over an X-Acto knife. Okay, so these are all my pieces. Um, I'm sure that one goes there. But clearly they're not all even. You can fix them to your liking. I don't really care because nobody's going to see it but me. So yeah, next is to get your glue gun and glue these bad boys down.
this is the finished um, product. I'm probably gonna fill in like the black spots with leftover felt because I don't like to see empty spaces. And yeah, but the gist of it is you can um, also do felt on these if you want to. I don't know if I will yet. Also, if you're gonna have the box closed, make sure um, you don't glue the sides of the cardboard box completely towards the edge. Just leave a little space because then it will be difficult to close like this. Yeah. Now we're gonna decorate the outside. So now I'm gonna go ahead and um, paint this box because it's recycled and I just won't let it go to waste all this artistry. So what I've got here, um, I'm gonna put some gesso on top of the box first. So I'm gonna use fluorescent purple, medium yellow, medium magenta, this orange, and these golds here.
Okay, so this is the finished outside product. Um, yeah. I don't know why I did that. But, um, yeah. I don't know how to make clouds yet. But this is the outside. You know. So you obviously wait till it's dry before you, you know, do anything else. Because I don't think it's completely, completely dry. Um, and then the inside will look better in the next couple of days. Or tomorrow. So yeah, that's it for now.